Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And this unboxing actually isn't really an unboxing because of reasons. And we are going to do this a little differently this time around. So this is another package, or this was another package, from the lovely Christina from Rainy Day Diamonds. Um, she is so awesome. I bounced off this crazy idea of her um, to do the same painting she offers in, in regular drill and in crystalline and compare the final results. And she didn't just like the idea, she also gave me the kits for free. <laughs> So this is absolutely, I, I'm speechless, it's, it's so awesome and um, the reason why I can't really unbox this, why this is already all unpacked is because this was a gift basically, um, I didn't have any paperwork so um, it was, no, 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 no. It was a bit of an awkward uh, miss mission to get this released from customs because of course it landed at customs. It had to. It was destiny because it's the first time I was getting um, a package that was a gift truly worth above the limit for free gifts. Um, and I didn't have any paperwork. <laughs> so the, the Desert Princess kit, for example, from Diamond Art Club, um, while they gave it to me for free, they still issued a regular order, which triggered an email and I could prove to customs, you see, this is um, a kit that would have cost this much. They gave me a 100% discount, so I paid nothing. Um, yeah, not this time around. So what I did, I showed them, because Christina sells her paintings right now on Instagram, I showed them the Instagram postings stating the price of the kit she sells them for. And um, they agreed to run with that. So <laughs> that was pretty awesome. But um, depending on which custom agent you get that day, sometimes you don't have to open your package, sometimes you have to open your package and they are happy if you just let them have a look into it and sometimes you have to fully unpack everything. And this time I sometimes was, um, yeah, 100% bullseye. I had an agent who wanted to see it all. And that's the reason why this is already all unboxed and I thought, no, I'm not going to try to repack that all just to pretend I'm going to unbox it. The cat has gotten very comfortable on the paintings. So let's get started with, with the cuteness that is um, the toolkit. You might remember last time I had the little macaroons with the wax. This time it's a little diamond and there's actually a piece of yellow wax in here this time. I have not used the yellow and the white wax yet. I like the blue quite a bit. And of course we all know the pink. Um, but she didn't only just give me that, she also put that in the box. And this is two pieces of, yeah, hi. Two pieces of each type of wax and this is so, so amazing because there's actually also this purplish pink and I don't think I've ever tried that one. So I'm very curious about that. And the little crystals are such a nice touch. It's, it's so awesome. I think she actually, yeah, she put it on the inside and the outside. Ah, oh, that explains what this little guy is for. Then, oops, put that back in there right away. <laughs> So this is so cute. And of course, what got the kitty really interested. <laughs> yeah. Am I annoying you once again? It's the little paw ribbon on the side. So let's get back to the toolkit. You get the pink pen with the single placer. You get a squishy. Mine this time is bright green. Cat, why are you eating the pen? That's new. Don't eat the pen. It's not tasty. You get stickers. I'll show you those in a moment. And you get, I have a 15, a 12 placer. I think this is a 10 straightener and the small straightener. I absolutely love these straighteners. They are lifesavers. They are absolutely lifesavers. And then of course the, the green boat, which is a bit wider than the standard boat. Now you're eating the stickers, cat, what's up? <laughs> Christina, did you sprinkle catnip on the stuff by any chance? 
So we have a lot of very cute stickers. A little rabbit, rainbow cloud. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is so adorable. And then these. They remind me so much. So these are Zodiacs, but the, the style reminds me so much of the Margaret Morales paintings that Diamond Shop now stocks. They have the same dreamy feel about them. They are so gorgeous. And this is actually a Pisces. That's my um, partner's Zodiac sign. And this is Scorpio, my godmother. <laughs> Oh, no, not my godmother, my goddaughter. So, and then I got some more goodies. Adorable, adorable cat stickers. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. It's so freaking cute. I actually have pictures from the first year when my cats were a year and younger, where they did this year. All the cuddling. Now they hate each other. I don't know why. And then there's this cute pen and I have the perfect idea what to make to use this with. So I hope I can do this very soon and can show you. And yeah, this is going to be so great. I love everything Japanese. I'm just, I'm, I'm a sucker for that. And the last thing she included for me to test out is this paper. This is not parchment paper, this is, oh boy, Christina, I for, I've forgotten what this is. This is some kind of, um, is it a siliconized paper? So this side, as you can see, is shiny, like the wax paper. And this one is a bit more matte. And um, I'm going to assume, because it looks like the wax paper, that this side goes down and you can replace the the opaque cover with this. And this is actually a size where you can, sorry cat, don't let me disturb you. Yeah, two of those are actually enough to cover the whole length of the painting. And probably three, yep, three are enough to cover it this way. Which is actually nice because I already have replaced the covers on this, on these paintings, both of them with old Diamond Art Club covers I had because these these original covers gave me so much struggle. <laughs> I had to struggle so hard and never mentioned to put them down perfectly. And then I, I just, and, and the one on the crystalline I actually ripped, I think in my third try, so I gave up, I gave up. I replaced them with a clear cover from Diamond Art Club so I can show you the canvas in this video. And when I'm working on them, I'm going to try out this paper here because I'm very curious about it. I usually work with parchment paper, which I bought off Amazon. Um, and there's actually no brand or anything on it. Um, that's just what I got. Um, and it works fine, but on some adhesives it sticks very hard. <laughs> so I hope that this will be different. I also tried the, the little... Uh, uh, pieces of cover paper that you get with your star roar um, But those I found don't work very well. They are too slick so Not a huge fan of those But I'm a huge fan of the idea. I still compliment Lucy that she came up with the idea to include this and I'm glad that others are doing this now as well so kitty let's Yeah, let's have a look at the at the painting this is the painting. I call her the Purple Umbrella Girl, but I think Christina has actually a much nicer name for this painting. Um, and I just realized when I unboxed this, this that this is actually fitting the drills and jills. So as soon as I am done with my um, second painting for drills and jills, which is the Halloween Witch Teddy, um, and I should be done by now, so <laughs> it's probably an old hat for you. I will do one of these, um, and I decided to go ahead and do the crystalline one first. So, same image, because as I said, we are going to do the same image in two types of drills, and then compare the outcome. Because there are f a few differences, I mean, there have to be differences. Crystals are not the same as round drills. So the first difference being 
The crystalline canvas is the one underneath here and it only has 24 colors compared to the 30 colors the full drill kit has, uh, the, the regular drill kit has. They are both full drill, duh. So, and that means going to push the cat around a bit. Eh, 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 eh. I think where you can see very well what the difference is if the cat is not sitting straight on it is for example the shading in the umbrella I'm going to move the camera just a tiny little bit so here you can see the two umbrellas they are different in shading um, it looks a bit choppier in the in the crystal which is all right, because the transition is different in those kits. Um, and I want to see how different they actually look, how much contrast will be in the in the crystal kit compared to the regular, which will look awesome. You've, you've seen my, my um, final review on the Meet Me on the Red Bridge painting, and that one looked awesome. It had so many details. So, yeah, that is the plan. And now that the cat is gone for the moment, show you the whole canvas. So this is the regular drill canvas, and I think you can already see amazing details in that. And I'm sorry for the glare, as always, but it's either glare or very bad lighting. But these are the shop windows and the reflections here in the rain on the street, it's just awesome. The autumn tree trees with the street lamps. This is going to be so so pretty. And you have reflections of the street lamps down here. It's also going to be a very dark, a very earthy painting, so it's something different for me at least, because as you know, I'm a bright color girl. But I really wanted to do this to see how it turns out. And actually I fell in love with the with the regular drill painting right away. I saw it and I just thought, yes, yes. <laughs> And then she told me she's going to get it in crystalline as well. And she just had won me over with the full crystal kits. <laughs> oh. So this is the canvas for the round regular. And this is the canvas for the crystalline. And you can see it looks very different already. The schematics look very different already. I mean, the basics are still there. But I'm, I'm really kind of looking forward to see how it looks once it's done. I'm pretty sure both will look amazing, but I'm also very sure they will look very different. Okay, that is that. Let's have a look at the drills. As with all her kids, you get this this photocopy of the legend you have here on the side. You can either put this through your sticker maker and label your containers, or what I did, I pretty much only worked straight out of the bags because these drills don't have an issue with static at all. And I had the, the little legend on my canvas the whole time and just worked from that. Because these, these bags, um, they are labeled so big with the number. <laughs> you don't really need anything else. I usually don't work by the numbers of the color. I usually work by DMC code, but um, it worked out fine with the with the two kits I've done so far. So why change that system? So these are actually in order. So please excuse me that I don't pull them out. But I really want don't want to disturb this. You can see the colors like this as well. So it's a very, very um, muted color palette, of course, because this is a fall evening. And let's uh, pull those over. And then we have the crystal drills. Jeez. Um, so, and what I can already see in this kit is there's something that looks very pink. <laughs> There's no pink in the other one. So that's the, that's the fun thing about um, the crystal kits. And if we, we could compare the two color keys for a moment. 
So we have some similarities, but we also have a, a lot of differences here, actually. There are actually two types of pink in the crystalline um, that are not in the, in the round regular. There are some similarities, so both have 310, both have 550. Other than that, both have 436. It's it's a very different. It's it's pretty much the same as it is with my comparisons between round and squares. Um, those also have very different colors for the same image. It's kind of fascinating. It's pretty fascinating. So anyway, let's have a look at the at the crystal ones. And I'm going to start this soon, so we are going to pull those out of the bag. So this is actually one strip of paper. And then we have... Ah, I was hoping that those would be included. These are the new blacks. So this is not not the regular um, full black resin diamond type. These actually have the um, silver backing. And I don't know if that actually means that they are different, but I suppose so. And we have quite a bit of those. So we have three bags as far as I can see. Of those. We have this golden yellow. This purple. We have this, this is a brown, a light brown. I think my camera is now a bit challenged with focusing. This is one of the pinks and this is so pretty. This is a red. Do you see these orange, orange flares in there? Wowzers. Then we have this light. Chartreuse. <laughs> we have this very light yellow and this is a deep 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 reddish brown more of a copper. I'm sorry there are so many of the silver bags up that you can't really see see those and we have two bags of that color actually. Then we have ooh, this which one is this? 16. This is 815. Such a gorgeous red. I had that in the sunset painting as well. It's so, so beautiful. Then we have another orangey brown. And there's going to be a lot of brown and yellow and orange in this painting. 14. 14 is supposed to be 746, so that's another very light um, beige tone. We have that's a yellow, yellowish brown. Oh, that one here. Oh, and I dropped it and stuck it to the back. Oh, look at that. Do you see the blue and the purple? That is so amazing. Look at that. And then, ooh, holy. That's once again most of the silver up, but oh, wow. So this is, this is 550. Wowzers. Wow, 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 wow. This is so beautiful. Speechless, and there's two bags of that in here. Okay, that's a lot of purple. Where does all the purple go in this? The purple is in the trees as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and then we have this gold. All the purple, please. We have this cognac tone. I'm starting with the alcohol again. This is all the 
the light brown colors now. Sorry for the scratches on my thumb. I know it doesn't look very nice. And no, it was not a cat. They are totally innocent this time. This is a gray. Looks a bit darker on camera than it actually is. Then another fiery, gorgeous red with these orange flares. Another light gray. And what do we have here, Frank? And that's another gray. Yeah, three grays in this one. And the first one, more purple. How to make a stone cold coffee crafts happy. <laughs> Give her purple. Wow. So this is so pretty. Let's show you the purples next to each other. So we have the from light to dark. This is so amazing. This color, you guys. Wow. Let's try to show you a bit better because this is actually annoying me now that it doesn't want to cooperate. So, let's see, can we? Can you see that? Wow! And this is also the the type of cut I love so much because it's it's so much deeper. Um, they are cut like regular resin drills with the pointy top instead of the flat top. And this gives them so much more depth. It's, it's incredible. At first I thought it doesn't make any any difference. But in some of these colors, I don't know if it's still the case, but it was the case with the sunset. Um, the pointies and the flat tops were mixed with each other. And when they sat next to each other, you could actually see the difference in depth. It didn't hurt the painting at all. You couldn't see any difference if you didn't know that this was supposed to be the same color but it looked it looked awesome these pointy drills looked absolutely awesome compared to the others wow guys this this 550 is really really throwing me for a loop i like 550 in regular drills as well but i am not one of the people who says that it's my absolute favorite color I might have to reconsider this for crystalline because this color absolutely blows my mind. There are these these blue flashes in there and it's it's so amazing. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. That's all I can show you for now. Please, absolutely if you're interested in doing a really really good full crystal kit, these are in my opinion the best out there. Please give Christina um, your love and, and purchase one of her kits. She has some outstanding kits coming in now. There, there's a peacock and there's a succulent and they look absolutely mind-blowing. <laughs> so please give it a try. If you're like me and you are skeptical about full crystal paintings, I was totally skeptical about them. Um, her kits might change your mind because the one I did really, really did. It was so good when it was done. And it was actually a joy to work on. I've also found that full crystal kits can and cannot be a joy to work on. So it's it's really a hit and miss with them. And I'm saying that as I am procrastinating working on a Star War, which I enjoy not at all. I'm sorry to say that. So, um, yeah. That's all I have for today. I am very much looking forward to working um, the crystalline one up. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to manage to do both canvases in October. I would love to, but I would be very surprised if this happens because there's a lot of work ahead of me in October and November and things will not calm down before December. But I will get at least one done. One is my goal until Drills and Chills is over. So anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's really it. I'm going to stop jabbering on now. If you like this reveal, I guess, because it wasn't really an unboxing, please leave me a thumbs up. Please absolutely hop over to Christina's Instagram shop. It is li linked down below in the description box. Um, you have to have an Instagram account because you have to request access to this profile. It's a private profile. 
but it's it's absolutely worth it until she opens her her workshop. I think that's still in the making. So um, you can also, as always, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, whatever you prefer. You can leave a comment. There's an email address and my Instagram handle in the description box below. As well, as I said, a link to her Instagram where you can purchase her gorgeous kits. And that's it, guys. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm pretty much out of words now. <laughs> I'm still staring at these drills. All right, guys. I will catch you very soon. Bye-bye.